This is a great puzzle for the kindergarten classroom. It's also a great puzzle for the executive boardroom icebreaker party, but we're going to focus on kindergarten. So you put the names of a few people on the board, and then you look for enemies. Enemies are those people who do not share any letters in common. Can you find the two enemies? Here they are. Glenn and Victoria are enemies. Lee and Michael, on the other hand, are very good friends. In order to be a friend, you have to share at least two letters in common in your name. So here we go. We're putting everyone together here. And now we run into a problem. Louisa and Victoria, are they friends? Yes, they are. They share two letters in common. They share an I and they share an A. So we have to link them up. But how can we do that? The only way to do it is to overlap another line, and that is not acceptable. This means that we put on too many people. Can we shuffle them up? Let's try again. Ah, I failed again. So let's try with a different group of people. Uh, here we go. These are actually people from my school classroom. I've made two mistakes here. Can you find them? First one, Maurizio should be uh, connected to Christina with three lines. And the second one, Peter and Christina should be connected. And that means that this has failed. But this is redeemable because you can see we can reshuffle these ones and now this is going to work. Kindergarten students love this because it's the most ridiculous way that they can think of to make friends and enemies. I insist, no, this is a much easier way to make friends. Isn't this the way that you do it as well? And they say, no, 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 we do it. We, we play with each other. And I, <laughs> anyway, I have fun pretending like this is really the way that I make friends and enemies. For a while, I pretend. I make sure that uh, every child on that board has a friend and that they also end up knowing that this is totally ridiculous and just a fun fun little puzzle. The objective is to put the most people on the board so that you don't have any overlaps. And this is an extremely difficult problem. In mathematics, we call this the uh, 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 finding a planar graph. So anyway, you don't need to know that, and the kindergarten students certainly don't need to know it. I came up with this by thinking about uh, putting the names of the seven snow white dwarves uh, and to connect them and they, they fail so th this was uh, this was how i started out with this puzzle okay enjoy